action. So you ready? All right. <clears throat> I'm Roy. And Hi, Roy. Hi, Roy. I'm going to talk about two items today. Uh, this is the Midland MXT 115. It's a 15 watt GMS GMRS uh, radio. Uh, there's three of the Midland models. The 105 is a, is a five, five watt. Mm. This is the 115, 15 watts. And then the big boy, which Dan has, is a 40 watt, mm -hmm. 400. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have a little chart. Oh, you're supposed to have a license to operate that. And uh, do you have a license? You can apply for the li license <laughs> with the FCC. Turn off the cameras. Online costs seventy dollars, and because of the government shutdown, I don't have my license yet. Uh oh. So I am illegal. No, you're pending. So I can just say I'm R two D two. Well, you're you're you, or Captain America. I think you're you're technically like the way the ham one. No, I don't know about the GMRS, but with the ham one, as long as you have a licensed operator watching over what's going on, mm -hmm. it's okay. That's what and they do on field day, because they'll have kids come in who don't have licenses, but they could be on the air as long as there's a licensed operator. And you have two. Okay. And you have two here right now, so at least. So. Yeah, and I wanted to call McKinley, you know, who's in Killeen, but yeah. they're busy. Sure. I wanted to see how far it would sure. reach. Sure. This thing says, this comes from Midland themselves, uh, maximum range is 50 miles. No obstruction. Uh, ideal is 10 to 15 miles with partial obstruction. This means out. They, sh they show a picture of your outdoors with trees. And then obstruction, major obstruction is in the city, 5 to 10 miles. And Dan and I have been able to communicate. We're, we're th about 3 miles away. I was inside the house. And using this dish, and Dr. Cott says, you, this was not made for that. I thought it was. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, it looks you like it. You should put a label and, on it and sell it. Today, I should, have, I, should have brought, I should have brought what he wanted me to use today. It's nothing but a uh, meatloaf. No, it's not a meatloaf pan, but uh -huh. it's a square pan. Sure. So you could use anything that's metal, I guess, is what... If you had to improvise. So that's it. It's a pizza pan. Yeah, that yeah. yeah, acts as a ground. And yeah, like after you have your pizza, then you can <laughs> do this. <laughs> but you're saying cardboard won't work. So I can't uh, use a takeout pizza. Probably I gotta not. actually buy oh. a pan at H E B or So something. anyway, in the house, I had this about that level. Uh -huh. That's about as high as I could get it. Near the window. Uh if you're in your truck, I mean your vehicle, you put this in the center of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The cable is 19.7 feet, so it's a long one. Mm. Uh, let's see, what else should I say? It's got eight repeater channels for increased communication, 15 high power channels. It's got 10 weather stations. And it will choose the one of the strongest Whichever one is signal. the nearest, right. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, so how, what sort of distance are you realistically getting out of that? Three, three miles? What sort of well, re realistic distance? Well, I don't know. We've been getting three to five miles, but some people, we got, the last time we had this up on YouTube from talking, uh -huh. uh, somebody questioned us, said that's not far enough. Now, 15 watts, now, it's a matter of what we're saying, because, you know, there's transmits and receive. Mm -hmm. well, ours, the one McKinley has and one I have, is 40 watts. Correct. So that 40 watts should be, come from Killeen to here. Right. 15 watts probably come halfway, theoretically. Right. But we're not getting that. That's what we've got to figure out exactly how to increase the range. Sure. Or increase. Yeah. Trying to get McKinley would have been a good test. That's about 10 miles away. Yeah, and you've got hills in the way. That's the biggest thing that's hurting me on my hill. Okay, anyway. 
Got a microphone, USB port, you can charge a device. I you to talk first, then do it. Okay, and uh, let's see, I guess that's about all I can. Oh, okay. In order to have, if you're not in your vehicle, then you need power if you're in your house. So, I didn't know these existed. Made by Renogy. It's a laptop power bank. Hmm. Okay. It comes with, you can charge it. I'm not sure what that is. Cable. <laughs> I, I didn't see how you use it. Ah, uh, you've got these things. <laughs> yeah, these are adapters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Write that down, these things. <laughs> okay, they plug in right here for, you have to look at your laptop and look at the, the voltage and amps and then select the proper connector. Mm -hmm. It's got two USB ports. You can charge uh, USB devices, uh, tablets, cell phones. What? It also says. But wait, there's more. Yeah, wait, there's more. You could use it outside, outdoor activities, lights, uh, a UAV battery. What is that? Oh, uh, 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 UAV battery? Drone battery, a drone backup charger. Or something. Okay. Car refrigerator, inflator pump. Uh, let's see. And then the yeah, cigarette the main lighter thing. thing is it puts on cigarette lighter, mm -hmm. okay, which is compatible with that amps and that volts. So, so yeah, all that 12, 12 volt stuff. Yeah. But okay. In, in amps, it's a little bit limited over a, a car battery. Okay, this is the Renogy 72,000 milliamp hour portable charger. Um, it's got intelligent technology. It can detect the internal management chip of the, your phone and tablets, and then adjust the, out, the output power when it's charging. You can charge several devices at, at the same time. They don't recommend charging and uh, <clears throat> using it at the same. Okay, like mm -hmm. charging charging this thing and then, but then now it's dispersing here using mm -hmm. this. So they don't recommend that. A uh, copper cold battery will close in forty minutes. If you need to renew your card or get a new library card, please come to the circulation desk at this time. Also remember, will shut down at 6.45. Okay. So for those folks that are going to see this video, you can get these manuals online for both these devices. Mm -hmm. So you can decide whether you want, this will fit your need or not. Okay? Because obviously I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Sure. Uh, it's got one, if I press this like that, you see the blue light. Oh, okay. That light right there means it's at operating at 75%. They don't recommend you get below 50. I can do, if I hold this for three seconds. You're making me afraid of what it's going to do. <laughs> it's an Look, guys, your power pack. It's an emergency light. Nice. And by the way, I did that for the first time. I said, this thing's not coming on. <laughs> and then I said, oh, no, what is that? And then I had to figure out a way to turn it off. Did you think you were, like, in close So encounter? it's another three seconds. Yeah, okay. Okay, Roy, why don't you let Alex? What? Are we, ready? Are we ready to test? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, All right. Alex, Dr. Cox. Here's got. Alex. Show so them what you've got. FRS, GMRS, handheld radio, and a headset. And I'm going to be talking to him from the hall. Stop talking. Dr. Cobb. <laughs> Are you going to demo okay. Go ahead. This is Alex. Can you hear me? Wow. 
Oh. You're too close. Okay. Oh, no. This is Alex. My 1020 is near the water fountains. Sure. Okay, Alex, I read you on. loud and clear. How about me? Over. 10 4. <laughs> Wish him a happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Play repeat. Happy Valentine's Day there, Alex. Now, where are you now? What's your 1020? My 1020 is still by the water fountains. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. My 1020 is outside of the hallway near the metal detectors. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Say in the children's book section. I am now in the children's services room. Ten four. And after a while, they sold these by the millions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they got in a little trouble with the FCC. So. And what they're doing now is they're stripping out a lot of the software and they're selling them like his there for GMS RS only. Mm -hmm. And then they're selling them also for MURS. So what they're doing is taking a powerful radio and stripping it down and selling it for the same amount of money mm -hmm. for a very specific band. Mm -hmm. So it's become doubly useful because of that. Then also, you can see what he's got is on the side, you can plug in lots of accessories. Mm -hmm. Show them how it plugs in. So this is a standard in the radio industry, a standard accessory. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the company? It's a U.S. company. It starts with an M. Mid huh? Midland? 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 Motorola? Motorola. Motorola. It's not Motorola. Anyway, Motorola. monkey wards. The bottom line is you can put in, like he's got headphones. You can put in these headphones that are hide behind your head or the kind that like the police officers have. So they can be used for a lot of different purposes. If you look around, you'll say, when my wife went to have minor surgery at Metroplex, the guy that got her on the stretcher, and the anesthesiologists both have radios. Mm -hmm. Office Max, all the employees at Office Max. Academy has it. So most of the stores today, that's the way they communicate between the manager or a customer mm -hmm. or whatever. So, but they're so cheap, it's unbelievable. Sure. And you can get like he's got, they come with what they call a rubby duck, rubber ducky antenna, mm -hmm. which is kind of just a, uh, a funny name, but they're cheap antennas. But you can buy better antennas, show them yours. Larger ones, whip ones, they're mm -hmm. more uh, quarter wave, half wave, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you can get a lot more range out of them. We get from his house uh, to my house, and he lives way over, how far do you live? Like three or four miles, probably. Three or four miles easily between two of these radios. Okay, good. Which good. the maximum is. Depending on the one, uh, the blue one that you've got is up to eight watts. These go up to, I think, two, four, and six. Okay. Medium, low, and high. So it's pretty good for. No, that, that's good. I mean, that, that, especially from the disaster yeah. preparedness standpoint. So that's what we're designing is a, is a tier system. Right. With the family radio service, the, the ones that people have in their house, tier one, mm -hmm. everybody. And this will cover my whole neighborhood within. Sure. Uh, about four blocks. Mm -hmm. 
uh, easily. And then with the tier one, they can talk to tier two, this, and then tier three talks to the ham radio people right. or the uh, county emergency net management. So. Oh, that's great. Anyway, okay, your turn.